Hello and welcome back to our next uh, video in our 4.15 tutorial and now we're gonna go to the fourth tab called labels. Labels is very simple it just allows you to add text information into your layout and to do this you simply make sure you're in the label tab then you click on create label that will display a text area right here and I can type in on my keyboard whatever I want here and then I can move the text around rotate if I want I can change the text size depending on the size of the layout or your preferences so it's very simple and if you want to add another one you just click again on create label and type in what you want and place it if you want, you can click the delete button and they go away. So it's quite simple. That's how you use labels. And we'll place this one over there. Now we're gonna have a look at the next tab called custom objects. Custom objects allow me to create uh, a lot of different objects yourself in 3D. And we're gonna go through the different categories here and we're going to start with the first one on top here called custom floor it will allow you to create any custom floor shape just by clicking and creating lines and, and building a, a custom shape floor so I'm gonna select custom floor then I'm gonna left mouse click wherever I want to start to create this shape and just click move click move click move any shape that you want pretty funky shape there and then I click on to the object right there and we're not gonna look at this right now we're gonna talk about that in a later lesson I'm just gonna select floor material and let's pick a, a brown floor for this shape and there you go that's your shape right there and if we go into 3d we'll see what it looks like pretty cool and if you want you can move that shape around by clicking move edit object and you can move it around in the layout wherever you want and you can of course re do the shape afterwards if you want so it's it's a nice tool we'll delete that then we have something called floor shapes um, and it basically allows me to drag out a shape this one has curved sides and I can adjust the dimension of it rotate select the material so we'll select the carpet material and just create a shape right there and in 3d we'll have a quick look there you go that's the floor shape and if we take a step backwards what you what is really cool here is that you can combine these together and even you can choose to merge the materials together or keep them as separate objects so if we drag this one over here and select the material let's pick red carpet this time and then let's bring out another one we'll place it over here make it a little bit smaller and drag it in and select material gray maybe make it a little bit bigger just like this and then we're gonna go out in 3d and see what we've done we created a two pattern shape right there it's pretty nice very simple stuff and we'll click on delete and remove remove all of them and I'll show you how you can merge uh, all of them together in different variations so maybe let's start with this shape make it a little bit smaller just like that then I'm just gonna drag out the circle next to it and because they cross each other it's gonna say do I want to combine the shape and I'm gonna say yes and then it turns into one shape and if we select material it's gonna select the material on that entire shape that is now connected together and if you want we can of course grab uh, another shape over here it's gonna be a fun looking shape here but we're gonna do it anyway 
and select the material just like that and in 3d a very interesting floor shape so this is all up to your imagination what you want to do but you can combine shapes together in any way and if you want merge them the next two custom objects wall poster and floor image are pretty similar uh, basically it means you can add an image onto a wall or a floor and to use them we'll start with the wall poster hold down left mouse button and drag out that poster object in my object menu I can of course change the dimensions if I want it to be 5 meters I could do that but I'm just going to keep it at 3 meters and maybe 2 meters in height 2.5 and of course you have the altitude option I'm gonna say I want it at one meter then I need to add a photo so or an image so select image and we'll select just an image like that from my computer and we'll rotate because the arrow shows the direction of the poster and we'll place it on to the wall right there and then we'll drag out the floor image let's say we want it to be one meter in width that Fine, and three meters in depth then we select an image both wall poster and floor image support PNG texture so you can have a, like a transparent background if you want and I'm gonna select the PNG logo here and it comes into my floor right like that and of course you can move them around and, and rotate in 3d we'll go in and see what it looks like right there see the floor image and the wall poster image and you can move those around of course also when you're in the layout great okay that was wall poster and floor image so we'll delete and remove those two and we'll continue now we're gonna do mirror and basically it's very simple similar to the wall poster actually you drag it out you select the, where you want it to be let's place it over here and we're gonna say that the width needs to be 5 meters and the height 3 meters and you can of course change the altitude reflections from the mirror is not visible in real-time 3d but later on when we create photos and save images you'll see how it creates a texture a mirror reflection texture on that mirror very good now we'll uh, continue now we will continue by adding a cylinder custom object and you just drag that out and if you want we can change the, the length height if I want to have a 2 meter high cylinder actually let's make it 4.5 and create a, a, a round column in the room and I want the radius just to be 0 0.3, uh, three decimeters. Then we'll add a material. Let's just pick a, that brown color like that. And we'll go into 3D so you can see what it looks like. Column. You can, of course, duplicate using the object option, etc. here as well for that object. We'll close it. If you click on vertical cylinder, it's going to flip it on the side and then you can adjust the altitude and, and such for of course for this as well maybe if you want to create a pipe structure in the ceiling you can use the cylinder the vertical cylinder uh, box I'll do that one before stairs box same way drag out dimension and add material exactly like the cylinder very simple so you can create like uh, box pillars and we'll you can do that let's create a, a 4.5 high pillar and let's make the depth 0.2 and width 0.2 add a color to all sides but you can change individual sides here as, a, as well we'll do brown and we can move it uh, wherever we want like there I'll show the duplicate option because you have it there as well so I want another pillar six meters away to my right like that I'll show it from the top view from 
orbit, you see the two pillars. So that's how you use box and cylinder. Then we have stairs. I'll drag out a stair option. And then you can type in the dimensions for it. So if you want a wider stairs, just type in two or change the depth, the height, and material. Similar to the other primitives. And then you have the stair. And you can, of course, move that around the place wherever you want, wherever it would fit in that particular layout. We'll delete and close. The final one is called path, and it allows you to create simple paths by clicking and adding a path to the floor. And you can change the material, brown color. Afterwards, you can readjust those if you want. Like that. Very good. That was custom objects and how to use them.